What's happening folks? It's the Cleaver calling Andrew back with another edition of wrestling shenanigan talks, I guess. Uh, last night we had Monday Night Raw. Uh, we saw quite a few things happen in my opinion. Uh, we saw, first of all, I'm going to start off with the Iconics. Uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce are no longer a team after losing a match to um, the Riot Squad. So obviously Peyton Royce is going to be the one to get the push here. Uh, and we saw Billy Kay take the fall. And then later on that night, for some reason, they were at Raw Underground and freaking Peyton pretty much threw Billy into the ring and she got knocked the hell out by uh, Jessica Man Duke. So uh, last night was also advertised for Rey Mysterio to go one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins, but due to a uh, tricep tear, Rey was subbed out for Dominic. Um, obviously we knew where that was gonna go. So, you know, the winner of that match was going into a triple threat against the winner of Dolph Ziggler and Keith Lee, which ended up being Keith Lee and the um, Seth Rollins Dominic match. And then Randy Orton also had a match against Kevin Owens, which Kevin barely even got to the ring with. And then Aleister Black showed up from behind and attacked him and pretty much rendered him useless for the match. Uh, so, uh, Drew McIntyre was announced with a uh, shattered jaw or fractured jaw or something like that. So Night of Champions is going to be Randy Orton versus uh, Drew McIntyre again for the WWE Championship. Um, Keith Lee, Seth Rollins, and Randy Orton were in a triple threat in the main event match of Raw last night. And uh, we saw a spirit bomb from Keith Lee on to Rollins turn around RKO and then Rollins gets pinned one two three by Orton so yes Keith Lee lost technically but he was not pinned or submitted so it protected him a little bit which was pretty cool so um, we saw a six-man tag between uh, what was it the War Raiders and Cedric Alexander versus the Hurt Business and uh, Surprise roll up from Cedric to MVP. One, two, three. Cedric and Alexander and the War Raiders win. And after the match, Shelton Benjamin and Bobby Lashley go to attack, and MVP calls them off and they're given the clap and this, that, and the other on the way out. So I don't know what's going to go on with that. Um, we also saw Apollo Crews in Raw Underground go one on one with. Um, Shelton Benjamin and that just ended up with the Hurt Business being on top again um, they should just call it you know instead of Raw Underground it should just be Raw Hurt Business because the last few weeks has just been dominance by the Hurt Business in Raw Underground we got to see Retribution show up again last night during the uh, Tornado Tag Match between the Street Profits and Angel Garza and Andrade uh, they made their presence known. Uh, Angel Garza took off with the chick from The Bachelor or whatever, whatever she's from, Bachelorette. Um, left Garza high and dry. Even Selena Vega said, ah, fuck it, started attacking. So uh, they can hurry up with this angle and see what the hell's going to go on with it already. I mean, obviously we know one is Dio Madden, one's Dominic Dijakovic, one is Mia Yim for sure, and probably Vanessa Bourne. Uh, if they can just get to an unmasking already, like, I don't understand why the Raw superstars don't try to come help when they obviously see this shit going down. Um, maybe, you know, time will tell. But tonight, NXT is on Tuesday night for the next two weeks, I believe, uh, due to hockey playoffs on the USA Network Wednesdays. Um... We're going to see a six-man tag match. Your new NXT Tag Champs. The, uh... Oh, hang on, sorry. The team known as Breezango, Tyler Breeze and Fandango, your new NXT Champions, and uh, Swerve Scott against the Cartel. Um, 
Ra uh, Raul Gonzalez, or fuck, what's his name? Raul Mendoza, Joaquin Wild, and Santos Escobar, your interim cruiserweight champion. Um, also, I think we're getting Tim Thatcher versus Bronson Reed. And then in your main event, a 60 minute fatal four way Iron Man match to crown a new NXT champion after Killer Cross, Carrying Cross, sorry, had to vacate it um, last week due to a separated shoulder injury. And that will consist of former NXT champions Finn Balor, Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, and Adam Cole Bebe. So that will be the last entire hour of the show. Um, I really hope Finn Balor takes it. But, you know, we'll see what it is. We see that the Psycho Killer persona is back for Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, I'm just really, really looking forward to tonight's NXT episode, uh, Super Tuesday NXT. So, uh, yeah, man. As always, support NoDQ.com and support the Greg Cherry brand on Teespring and the Jeff Meacham network on all sorts of platforms from Anchor to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Uh, NoDQ.com forward slash Colin takes you to my Twitter page, so go have some fun there. I have a poll up right now. What was the best trilogy? The 90s films from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or the Mighty Ducks. So check that out and check back tomorrow for a NXT recap. I am the Cleaver Colin Andrew. You guys enjoy this Tuesday and we will see you next time.